Tacoma. No, thank you. I'm fine. Not that I'm judging either of you, but I'm in the moment oh. enjoying nature, being zen. rest stop in uh, Button Willow, California. I was supposed to be on an airplane going to San Francisco for some lovely girling up press, but um, they decided to repave the San Francisco airport today, so our flights were canceled. But I have a speaking engagement at the Jewish Community Center in San Francisco, and so um, I got in the car with Caroline, my assistant, and with my mom. I love driving, but I don't know that I would have chosen to take my brand new assistant, Caroline, and my mother in a car for six hours. Lost and found, don't lose me now. Come find me. When I'm lost, please be around. I'm wearing clothing that I wore yesterday because we left in haste. Remember when the Jews left Egypt in haste and they didn't have time for their bread to rise? We left in haste this morning and I didn't have time to shower or change clothing. Walk of so, shame. what? Walk of shame. It, I did the, my very own walk of shame, my mother says. I don't, <laughs> do you know what walk of shame means? Yeah. What's the walk of shame, Ma? When you stay at somebody's house the night before and you don't have a chance to change clothes and you come home in your nighttime clothes. Wow, she does know. Why, why does she know what walk of shame is? I'm in this car with the person who's known me the longest in my life and the person who's known me the least long in my life. And we're all in a car together and it's very, very strange. I can see that I'm two different people. Like, I'm the person who's perpetually annoyed with my mother and like resentful of all the stupid things that, you know, I don't want to forget that she did to me when I was a kid. And then I really want to like impress this other person because she just met me and we're working together. When you strip away, you know, a lot of the things that you want to pretend you are, either to people who know you so well that you want to be different or know you not at all, so you want to be something new. I don't know, I feel like this road trip is like forcing me to be super honest and real. Maybe being thrown into this car with someone who, you know, I've known forever and before then, okay. And she just came back from the bathroom. And so I'm just getting to know, um, it's like, it's literally, it's the two extremes of trying to present, you know, present your, yourself honestly. Sometimes people have to see bad parts of you to get to know you as well. And I think it's possibly also what's happening. Where are we? We're in the pistachio capital of the world. Wow. Look, can't you tell? The earth is ripe with pistachio fertility. <laughs> it looks like it's about to rain just because like let's have the entire airport be paved and us have to drive up north to make it to a speaking engagement and then let's have it rain. But then I was thinking oh and there's rain there's a rainbow and in this part of the state there's almost always a rainbow and I want a double rainbow all the way. You can see that it's raining from a distance but then it takes a while for it actually to hit. A little bit like life. What I was thinking about as I was driving was how I kind of think about everything. A lot of people ask me like, how do you get so many things done? Or like, why does your brain work the way it does? I guess it's because I'm, I'm always thinking. I can't stop thinking. Just in this last stretch of driving, I was thinking about like how unbelievable the clouds looked. It reminded me of like a, like finger painting when, when kids finger paint and they like drag the paint, you know, from the top of a page to a bottom. And then I was thinking, gosh, that's what I think it looks like because there's only so many things in the universe that we can understand and so everything has to look like something else because there's just only so many repeating patterns that can happen. And then I was thinking about the cows that were being transported in this cattle transport car and just how sad that is and how I wish people wouldn't eat so many cows. And then I started listening to this song and I started thinking about how I want to feel the way I felt when this person who I love loved me and I, I want that, I want that back. So we just drove into the bay, we made it, we will make it.
for tonight. I'm thinking of all the things we experienced in this car that we would not have experienced had we flown. I have no proof that there's some power in the universe that wanted us to drive instead of fly, but we saw a lot of really pretty things and, and it was hectic and it's stressful, but like now we're in a beautiful place and we got to see all the scenery on the way. So, you know, when life gives you lemons, get in the car, <laughs> drive. Lost and found.